Now we're ready to create the windows. First off, I'm going to create the boxes that are going to carve the window openings inside the walls. I'm going to switch to my top view and I'm going to right click in my case and choose unfreeze all so that I can see the shapes that are going to be used to create the balcony openings. And for those, I'm going to create boxes that overlap these shapes. And of course, I'm going to use snaps so that I get perfect fitting. Now, I'm going to go to my perspective view and this balcony is going to be, or actually this window is going to be high um, by one meter above the ground. So I'm going to type Z is equal to 100. Now I go to modify and adjust any parameters I need to. In this case, the height is going to be 120 and the width is 200. So everything is set here. What I will do next is press shift and create a copy and place it over there. Now make sure that you create a copy and not an instance because now I want to modify the width of this box and I'll set it to a width of 100. But this time I'm going to set its height to a value of 100. So it's a smaller window than in the other room because this is only a bathroom window. Again I'm going to select this one and I'll press shift on the keyboard to create a copy and I'll move and this one fits perfectly in place, so I don't have to do anything to change it. Okay, now here, I again I'll press shift and move over there. But this time, because this is a balcony door, what I have to do is lower down the position of this object to a Z value of 0. So I'll type Z is equal to 0, and this will lower this box down to ground level. Now the height is going to be set to 220, and the length is going to be 200. Okay, so if I look at this from the top view, I see that it fits again perfectly into place. Now, I'll press shift and create a copy and place it there, since I have the same placement on the floor, but I'll set my length in this case to a value of 3 meters. So 300 here, and create a copy, and rotate this one, make sure that angle snap is activated, and rotate by 90 degrees. Alright, now for this one over here, it has to be one meter higher than the ground level, so I'll make a copy from this one, because that one is higher than the ground level by one meter, and I'll set the length to a value of 150 centimeters. Okay, everything seems to be going fine. I'm going to select this one now. I'll press shift and make a copy down here. I'll zoom over this one, and I'll type negative 150 perfectly position this in place. The Y value is not important because it's going to carve through the wall. However, I'm going to reduce the length to a value of, not the length, sorry, the width to a value of 90 centimeters so that I don't have a perfect overlap here with the door. You can have it and you won't have any problems, but just to be on the safe side, let's put it to a value of 98. So that will leave one centimeter over here. So when I carve with the Boolean operation, this box is not going to overlap with the wall. Okay, so um, I need another window over here. So for that, I'm going to go and create a box. I can also use copies, it doesn't matter. And set the height to 220. Okay. Now I'm going to um, set the width in this case to 140. You can set it to whichever value you like. But I decided to set it to a value of 140 to, v to leave 20 centimeters at either side of the box. Okay, so I think everything is set now. Let's check this from the perspective view to see if everything is properly positioned. Okay, here I'm going to have my balconies. So these uh, boxes have to be at ground level. Okay, so everything is perfect. Now it's time for me to attach all these boxes together so that they become one object and that way I can carve only once and all the openings will be opened at once. So I'll switch to my top view to be able to select things more easily. I'll select one box and then I'll right click and choose convert to editable mesh and then I'll attach all the carving boxes one by one. The order that you attach with is not important. Here I have another one here and I think that that's it. I have all my boxes attached don't move them, I just move them so that you can see them. And now I'm going to select my walls. Okay, make sure that the walls are selected and they are. And now I'm going to go to create 
compound objects and then I'm going to click on boolean and now I'm going to set pick operand B and click on the boxes and this will carve at once all my openings so now I'm ready to create my windows okay so before I do that I'm going to hide the shapes because here they're going to clutter my view so I'll go to display and click on hide by category and choose shapes and now all the shapes are hidden but they are not deleted so if I uncheck shapes they'll come back into view alright so now I'm gonna create my windows and for that I'm gonna use 3d snap from here and I'm gonna snap to vertex only now I'll go back to create and click on the list and choose windows and now I'm gonna choose sliding windows alright I'm gonna press F3 so that I can see the vertices and I'm gonna start with this vertex here drag to the opposite one then drag to the other side and then go upwards and click here to finish the window creation now I'm gonna have a perfect fit right away I'm not gonna have the same problems I had with the doors because I don't have any um, frames to create for the windows so everything is properly set I'll continue the same operation to create all the windows okay so let's do the other one again I'll press F3 on the keyboard start with this vertex to the other one click and then go upwards and it's the same operation all throughout the house okay another one here I'll start at this point drag to the other side click go upwards and click okay now switch to that side click and go up it's very important to have 3d snap active and snap to grid to um, vertices sorry so otherwise the creation will not be as smooth as the way you see it done here okay now at the end I'm gonna check everything by going to solid view mode but for now I'll just keep going and creating my windows okay click go to the other side click and go up and the same here and I think this is the last one here so I'll zoom over click sorry so go back to sliding of course you can choose any window type you like from the existing list here now one thing that you have to bear in mind is that if you created your window and your window is going in the horizontal direction like the one here all you have to do is go to modify and under open window uncheck hung and this will make your window go vertical I did that at the beginning so that all my windows will be vertical so it's a good way um, to do that at the beginning instead of changing all the windows later alright so now checking this from the perspective view in solid view mode I see, I see that every window is perfectly fit into place which is great so all my windows are created now next I'm gonna create my balconies